Question 1. A user enables File Vault. Which methods for unlocking the disk does File Vault present to the user? Select 2. A. Create a recovery key. B. Save the recovery key in the system keychain. C. Store the recovery key with Apple support. D. Store the recovery key on the OS X recovery system partition. E. Allow an iCloud account to unlock the disk. The correct answer is A. E. Create a recovery key. Allow an iCloud account to unlock the disk. Question 2. Along with IMAP, POP, and SMTP, which protocol does the mail application in OS X support? A. Exchange Web Services, EWS. B. WebDave. C. Moppy. D. Exchange Active Sync, EAS. The correct answer is A. Exchange Web Services, EWS. Question 3. When you're starting up a Mac, which keyboard shortcut can you use to display detailed information about the startup process? A. Shift. B. Command V. C. Command S. D. Option. The correct answer is B. Command V. Question 4. Which steps can you take to retrieve a file from a time machine backup on an external hard drive connected to your Mac? A. Control click the icon of the folder where you want the restored file to appear. Open Time Machine from the shortcut menu. Choose Restore from the Time Machine Backup, use the timeline to reach the appropriate date and time, select the file, and click Restore. B. Open Time Machine, use the timeline to reach the appropriate date and time, select the file, and click Restore. C. In System Preferences, click the Time Machine icon, click Retrieve, use the timeline to reach the appropriate date and time, select the file, and click Restore. D. In the Finder, enter a search term in the Spotlight Search field, click the Add, Plus, button to add a search criterion, and choose search time machine, then use. The correct answer is B. Open time machine, use the timeline to reach the appropriate date and time, select the file, and click restore. Question 5. You're troubleshooting a Mac. Which is a valid reason for shutting down and then starting up a Mac instead of selecting restart from the Apple menu? A. Mac does a full post on startup only after a shutdown. B. Mac loads a clean user session on startup only after a shutdown. C. Mac performs disk checks on startup only after a shutdown. D. Mac archives errors from the session to the log only during a shutdown. The correct answer is A. Mac does a full post on startup only after a shutdown. Question 6. You downloaded an app using Safari. When you try to open the app, you see a message that says the application is damaged and cannot be opened, and that you should move it to the trash. Which is a possible explanation. A. Gatekeeper has recognized that the app was altered after it was signed. B. The quarantine system downloaded the app into a sandbox that is corrupted. C. The app was signed using a certificate from an unknown authority. D. The certificate needed to decrypt this app can't be found in the keychain. The correct answer is A. Gatekeeper has recognized that the app was altered after it was signed. Question 7. You have configured several network locations on your OS X computer. How can you change from one location to another? A. In Network Preferences, use the Location pop-up menu to choose a network location. B. In Network Preferences, click Advanced, click Manage Locations, then select a network location. C. Choose a network location from the Network Locations input menu on the right side of the Finder menu bar. D. In Network Preferences, choose Manage Locations from the Action pop-up menu below the Interfaces list and select a network location. The correct answer is A. In Network Preferences, use the Location pop-up menu to choose a network location. Question 8. Which is a valid reason to start up a Mac in verbose mode? A. To view the startup process details. B. To present a command line login. C. To display hints for the recovery key for a file vault volume. D. To display the firmware password. The correct answer is A. To view the startup process details. Question 9. How can you check the signal strength? RSSI, and transmit rate of a Wi-Fi network your computer is connected to. A. Option Click the Wi-Fi menu item, it will be listed below the network name. B. In Network Utility, click the Wireless Performance tab. C. In Network Preferences, Secondary click the Wi-Fi network service and choose connection status. D. In Network Diagnostics, click the Interface Status tab and choose Wi-Fi from the Interface pop-up menu. The correct answer is A. Option Click the Wi-Fi menu item, it will be listed below the network name. Question 10. Which IP address could a Mac assign to its Ethernet interface if no DHCP services were available on the network? A. 10.0.0.100 B. 
169.254.100.100. C. 172.16.100.100. D. 192.168.100.100. The correct answer is B. 169.254.100.100. Question 11. Which information do you need to know about a corporate VPN server before you can configure the built-in VPN capability on an OS X computer to access the corporate network? A. Whether the corporate VPN server supports PO. B. Whether the corporate VPN server supports NSEC. C. Whether the corporate VPN server supports PPTP, L2TP over IPsec, or Cisco IPsec. D. Whether network protocols will be encapsulated by the corporate VPN server. The correct answer is C. Whether the corporate VPN server supports PPTP, L2TP over IPsec, or Cisco IPsec. Question 12. Which of these files will Time Machine, by default, not back up? A. Any file in the trash. B. A Time Machine preference. Plist file. C. An encrypted file. D. A file that Time Machine identifies as conflicting with a file that was previously backed up. The correct answer is A. Any file in the trash. Question 13. Which will force a non-responsive app to quit? A. Press Command Option Q, then click Force Quit. B. Control click the app icon in the dock and choose Force Quit from the shortcut menu. C. Press Control as you choose Quit from the app menu, then click Force Quit. D. In console, select the process in the processes list, click the Force Quit button in the toolbar on the left, and click Force Quit. The correct answer is B. Control click the app icon in the dock and choose Force Quit from the shortcut menu. Question 14. On a Mac, where can user preferences for sandboxed apps be stored? A. Slash library slash container slash. B. Slash library slash preferences slash. C. Slash library slash preferences slash. D. Slash library slash document slash. The correct answer is B. Slash library slash preferences slash. Question 15. You're unable to connect to a web server from your OS X computer. How can Traceroute help you troubleshoot this issue? A. Traceroute can help determine whether the web server is configured correctly. B. Traceroute can help determine whether the ports are open on the web server. C. Traceroute can help determine whether the server that the web service is running on has a firewall. D. Traceroute can help determine where the connection is breaking down. The correct answer is B. Traceroute can help determine whether the ports are open on the web server. Question 16. What's the role of the launched process when an OS X computer starts up? A. The init process starts launched, then launch starts the script stored in slash etc slash cron slash. B. The kernel starts launched, then launch starts all the other processes involved in startup. C. Launch starts the kernel, the kernel starts all the other processes involved in startup. D. The init process starts launched, then launch starts the item stored in the startup folder. The correct answer is B. The kernel starts launched, then launch starts all the other processes involved in startup. Question 17. You've started up a Mac from its recovery partition. How do you open the startup disk utility? A. Choose Startup Disk from the Utilities menu. B. Choose Startup Disk from the Apple menu. C. Open Startup Disk from the OS X Utilities window. D. Choose Disk Utility from the Utilities menu then choose Startup Disk from the File menu. The correct answer is B. Choose Startup Disk from the Apple menu. Question 18. What should you be aware of when dragging apps to the trash? A. Some apps install files outside the applications folder, so dragging an app to the trash may not remove all of its files. B. You can't drag apps purchased in the Mac App Store to the trash. C. User data for apps purchased in the Mac App Store is also deleted when you drag the app to the trash. D. You must restart the Mac to permanently delete apps from the trash. The correct answer is A. Some apps install files outside the applications folder, so dragging an app to the trash may not remove all of its files. Question 19. Which describes the function of safe boot in OS X? A. To facilitate troubleshooting by preventing loading of third-party components in the operating system at startup. B. To prevent users from accessing sensitive system files by loading simple finder instead of finder at startup. C. To increase data security by assigning all standard users read-only privileges to mounted local volumes. D. To increase data security by modifying sharing settings, so only essential protocols are enabled at startup. The correct answer is A. To facilitate troubleshooting by preventing loading of third-party components in the operating system at startup. Question 20. You're configuring an OS X computer that will be in a public space. 
You want anyone to be able to log in and use Safari, but you do not want users' Safari browser history to remain on the computer after they log out. Which action should you take? A. Create a guest account. B. Enable the guest account for login. C. Create a sharing only account. D. Create a managed account with parental controls. The correct answer is B. Enable the guest account for login. Question 21. You started up a Mac from its OS X recovery partition. When you restarted, the Mac started up from the OS X recovery partition again. How can you configure it to start up from a different volume? A. Choose terminal from the utilities menu, type startup disk. Volume name, and press return. B. Choose startup disk from the Apple menu and select A. Startup volume. C. Choose startup disk in the OS X utilities window and select A. Startup volume. D. Choose disk utility from the Apple menu and select a startup volume. The correct answer is B. Choose startup disk from the Apple menu and select a startup volume. Question 22. Review the screenshot from File Vault Preferences, then answer the question below. You click the Enable User button for the Bill Sykes account. What happens next? A. An alert message appears that says Bill Sykes will be prompted to enter the recovery key at next login. B. An alert message appears that says File Vault is now enabled for the Bill Sykes account. C. You're prompted to enter an administrator password to enable File Vault on the Bill Sykes account. D. You're prompted to enter the Bill Sykes login password to enable File Vault on the Bill Sykes account. The correct answer is C. You're prompted to enter an administrator password to enable File Vault on the Bill Sykes account. Question 23. In the finder, which statement is true of file and folder permissions? A. A user with write only permissions for a folder can delete any file in that folder. B. A user with write only permissions for a folder can rename any file in that folder. C. A user with read only permissions for a folder can view any files in that folder. D. A user with read only permissions for a folder can't rename any files in that folder. The correct answer is D. A user with read only permissions for a folder can't rename any files in that folder. Question 24. On an OS X Mac, how can you display a list of installed software including software updates? A. In the Apple menu, choose Software Update and click Receipts. B. Open Installer, choose Show Files from the File menu, and select Install.log in the Files section under slash var slash log slash. C. In the Apple menu, choose Software Update Preferences and click Installed Software. D. In the Utilities folder, open System Information and select Installations in the sidebar under Software. The correct answer is D. In the Utilities folder, open System Information and select Installations in the sidebar under Software. Question 25. When a user creates archive files from the Finder, which archive format does OS X use by default? A. Zip. B. Zip. C. Seach. D. DMG. The correct answer is A. Zip. Question 26. On a Mac with multiple user accounts, which default permission is assigned to a user's documents folder? A. Everyone has read-only access. B. Everyone has read and write access. C. The staff group has read and write access. D. Only the account owner has access. The correct answer is D. Only the account owner has access. Question 27. Which statement best describes the function of Gatekeeper? A. To prevent users from downloading viruses and Trojan horses. B. To prevent users from connecting to unauthorized file sharing websites. C. To prevent users from opening untrusted applications. D. To prevent users from downloading untrusted applications. The correct answer is C. To prevent users from opening untrusted applications. Question 28. In OS X, you can use disk utility to create file archives in which format? A. Zip. B. Zip. C. Seach. D. DMG. The correct answer is D. DMG. Question 29. In a default OS X configuration, you want to configure OS X to delete zip files after they're expanded in the Finder. Where can you make that change? A. Finder Preferences. B. System Preferences. C. Disk Utility Preferences. D. Archive Utility Preferences. The correct answer is D. Archive Utility Preferences. Question 30. Migration Assistant is open on a Mac with OS X. Which of these is not a source that user files can be migrated from? A. Another volume on the same computer. B. A Windows 8 computer. C. An archive stored on iCloud. D. A time machine backup on an external hard drive connected via USB. The correct answer is C. An archive stored on iCloud. Question 31. Review the screenshot, 
Then answer the question below. An OS X Mac has the local users configured as shown above. Chris has lost the password to his account. Which procedure will let you reset his password? A. Log in as Chris using the root password, open users and groups preferences. Then reset his password. B. Log in as Bill Sykes, open reset password from the utilities folder. Then reset Chris's password. C. Restart the Mac from the OS X recovery partition, open terminal from the utilities menu, type reset password and press return to open the reset password utility, then reset his password. D. Log in as Bill Sykes, open directory preferences and enable the root user. Authenticate as the root user in users and groups preferences, then reset Chris's. The correct answer is C. Restart the Mac from the OS X recovery partition, open terminal from the utilities menu, type reset password and press return to open the reset password utility, then reset his password. Question 32. Review the screenshot, then answer the question below. You connect a Mac OS extended, journaled, formatted FireWire disk to a Mac configured as shown in the screenshot. What will happen the next time a standard user attempts to mount the hard disk? A. The disk will mount, and the user will be able to read, modify, and delete any file on the disk. B. The disk will mount, and the user will be able to read any file on the disk. The user will be required to enter an administrator password to modify or delete files on the disk. C. The user will be required to enter an administrator password to mount the disk. After the disk is mounted, the user will be able to read, modify, and delete any file on the disk. D. The user will be required to enter an administrator password to mount the disk. After the disk is mounted, the user will be able to read any file on the disk but. The correct answer is A. The disk will mount, and the user will be able to read, modify, and delete any file on the disk. Question 33. Which tool can you use to search log files? A. Archive Utility B. Activity Monitor C. Console D. Network Utility The correct answer is C. Console Question 34. On your OS X computer, you want the finder to display file name extensions by default. How can you configure this setting? A. Choose Show View Options from the View menu in the finder, and select the option Show All File Name Extensions. B. Choose Preferences from the Finder menu. Click Advanced, and select the option Show All File Name Extensions. C. Control Click Anywhere on the Desktop, select Preferences from the pop-up menu, and select the option Show All File Name Extensions. D. Choose Get Info from the File menu, click the Disclosure Triangle next to Name and Extension, D. Select Hide Extension, and click Change All. The correct answer is B. Choose Preferences from the Finder menu, click Advanced, and select the option Show All File Name Extensions. Question 35. When Time Machine backed up your file yesterday, the file was 5 megabytes. Now that you've changed the file, it's 6 megabytes. What does Time Machine do with the file at the next backup? A. Time Machine copies the 6 megabytes file to the backup drive and deletes the original backup copy of the file from the backup drive. B. Time Machine copies the 6 megabytes file to the backup drive and keeps both the new backup file and the original backup file on the backup drive. C. Time Machine identifies the 1 megabyte of file changes, copies those changes to a new file on the backup drive, and keeps both the new backup file and the original backup file. D. Time Machine identifies the 1 megabyte of file changes, copies those changes to a new file on the backup drive, creates a 500k parity file, and keeps all three files. The correct answer is C. Time Machine identifies the 1 megabyte of file changes, copies those changes to a new file on the backup drive, and keeps both the new backup file and the original backup file. Question 36. How do you start up a Mac in safe mode? A. Hold down command option PR during startup. B. Start up from the OS X recovery partition, then choose safe boot from the startup disk menu. C. Hold down shift during startup. D. Open terminal, type shutdown safe, press return, then restart the Mac. The correct answer is C. Hold down shift during startup. Question 37. A computer running OS X Server 4 on your network is sharing files. On a Mac with OS X Yosemite, if you browse to the server from the sidebar in the Finder, which protocol will the Mac use by default to connect to the server? A. AFP BFTP C. SMB3 DNFS The correct answer is A. AFP Question 38. In the Finder, how can you access the library folder that's hidden inside the current user's home folder? A. Hold down the Option key. From the Go menu in the Finder, choose Library. B. Hold down the Option key. From the Action menu in the Finder, 
Choose Show Hidden Items. C. Navigate to the User's Home folder. From the View menu in the Finder, choose Show Hidden Items. D. From the Finder menu, choose Preferences and select Show Hidden Items. The correct answer is A. Hold down the Option key. From the Go menu in the Finder, choose Library. Question 39. You can configure Time Machine to delete versions of files as soon as they reach a specified age. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is B. False. Question 40. Which statements are true about guest accounts in Mac OS X? Select 2. A. Guest accounts are disabled by default in OS X. B. By default, a guest user needs a password to log into the Mac. C. If you disable Find My Mac, the guest account for local login is disabled as well. D. If you enable Find My Mac, the guest account for local login is enabled as well. E. Users can log in to the guest account remotely. The correct answer is D. If you enable Find My Mac, the guest account for local login is enabled as well. Question 41. How do you start up an OS X computer in single user mode? A. Start up from the recovery system partition and enter the command reboot single in terminal. B. Hold down command S while the computer starts up. C. Hold down shift option while the computer starts up. D. Select single user mode in the startup disk pane of system preferences, then restart the computer. The correct answer is B. Hold down command S while the computer starts up. Question 42. You backed up an OS X computer to a locally connected, unencrypted external hard drive via Firewire. How did Time Machine store the data? A. Time Machine stored each file as a record in a database. B. Time Machine amended the file data from each backup to a CPIO archive. C. Time Machine copied each file directly to the external hard drive. D. Time Machine copied each file to a disk image on the external hard drive. The correct answer is C. Time Machine copied each file directly to the external hard drive. Question 43. How do you reset the printing system in OS X? A. Navigate to slash library slash printer slash in the finder, select all items, and move them to the trash. B. Open Printer Setup Utility and choose Reset Printing System from the Printer Setup Utility menu. C. Open the Printers and Scanners pane of System Preferences, Control click the Printers list, and choose Reset Printing System from the Shortcut menu. D. Open the Printers and Scanners pane of System Preferences, select all the printers in the Printers list, and click Delete. The correct answer is C. Open the Printers and Scanners pane of System Preferences, Control click the Printers list, and choose Reset Printing System from the Shortcut menu. Question 44. Which statement about Gatekeeper is true? A. Standard users can bypass Gatekeeper. B. The only way to disable Gatekeeper is by using a configuration profile. C. Administrator users can bypass Gatekeeper. D. Only root users can disable Gatekeeper. The correct answer is C. Administrator users can bypass Gatekeeper. Question 45. Which of these are available from the Utilities menu when you start up from the OS X recovery partition? Select 2. A. Network Utility. B. Airport Utility. C. Activity Monitor. D. Migration Assistant. E. Terminal. The correct answer is A. E. Network Utility. Terminal. Question 46. In what order do these three OS X components load when you start up a Mac? A. 1. Firmware 2. Booter 3. Kernel. B. 1. Booter 2. Kernel 3. Firmware. C. 1. Kernel 2. Firmware 3. Booter. D. 1. Firmware 2. Kernel. The correct answer is A. 1. Firmware 2. Booter 3. Kernel. Question 47. An OS X computer is connected to both an Ethernet and a Wi-Fi network. In Network System Preferences, how can you specify which interface the Mac will use to access the Internet? A. Click Internet Connect to select the preferred interface, then disable the other interfaces. B. In the Action pop-up menu, choose Set Service Order, then move the preferred interface to the top of the service order list. C. Assign a public IP address to the preferred interface and a private IP address to the other interfaces. D. Enter a DNS configuration for the preferred interface, and delete the DNS configuration for the other interfaces. The correct answer is B. In the Action pop-up menu, choose Set Service Order, then move the preferred interface to the top of the service order list. Question 48. How can you display the contents of a hidden folder on a mounted volume in the Finder? A. From the View menu, choose Show Hidden Items. B. From the Finder menu, choose Preferences and select Show Hidden Items. C. From the Go menu, choose Go to Folder, 
enter the path to the hidden folder, and click Go. Deselect the volume icon and choose Show Hidden Items from the Action menu. The correct answer is C. From the Go menu, choose Go to Folder, enter the path to the hidden folder, and click Go. Question 49. You can configure Time Machine to delete versions of files as soon as they reach a specified age. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is B. False. Question 50. In a default OS X configuration, you want to configure OS X to delete zip files after they're expanded in the Finder. Where can you make that change? A. Finder Preferences. B. System Preferences. C. Disk Utility Preferences. D. Archive Utility Preferences. The correct answer is D. Archive Utility Preferences.